This is the specimen of the cerebellum. Now here you can see the difference between cerebrum and cerebellum is the feature on the surface. On the cerebrum we had seen the sulca and gyri, the large folds. Here you find a thin paper-like folds. So these are the thin paper-like folds, they are known as folia. Folium is singular and folia is plural. So these are the thin paper-like folds on the surface of cerebellum. As you can see the cerebellum has two cerebellar hemispheres. It is connected in the midline by a vermis. This is superior vermis which is seen on superior surface. So two cerebral hemisphere between them is a superior vermis on superior surface. This is superior. This is a wide anterior cerebellar notch where you will find brainstem. This is a posterior cerebellar notch where you find fox cerebelli. Here on the superior surface we find a V-shaped fissura prima or primary fissure. This fissure separates the anteriorly, the anterior lobe and posteriorly, the posterior lobe or middle lobe. This posterior lobe is continuous on the inferior surface also. So if we see the upside down, the inferior surface of the cerebellum, we find that it is in the midline there is a velliculum. Here on each side we find some rounded elevation that is known as tonsil. Apart from this whole thing is the middle or the posterior lobe. In front of it there is a small part which is not seen in this specimen damaged but that is the flocculus, that is floculonodular nodular lobe which will be here. This is the anterior wide anterior cerebellar notch, this is the posterior cerebellar notch. But here you find the floculus which is not seen in this specimen. So this is the inferior surface of the cerebellum. If we cut it and try to see the internal features we can see that, you can see this, there is a branches of tree-like appearance. This branches of tree-like appearance is known as arbor vitae cerebelli. Arbor vitae cerebelli. So this is what is all about as far as cerebellum is concerned. Along with the cerebellum, in this specimen, we see the brainstem also. This is the brainstem. So here you can see that on the brainstem, the uppermost part it is having two cerebral peduncles. These are the cerebral peduncles. This is the midbrain, this is the widest middle part that is known as pons and this is the lowermost part that is known as medulla oblongata. Now here these two diverging peduncles will connect with the cerebral hemisphere and on the posterior surface there are rounded elevations which are not distinctly seen in this specimen but these elevations here are known as colliculi, superior and inferior colliculi. Below this colliculus there is a nerve that is trochlear nerve but here this is the cerebral peduncles. Below this cerebral peduncle here you see the uh, pons. Pons is the widest and the part. Here you see this is a basilar sulcus. This is in the midline. There is a basilar sulcus which is occupied by the basilar artery. Below this you can see the medulla oblongata. You can see that the fibers from the pons are going to cerebellum and form the bundle which bundle is known as middle cerebellar peduncle. This is a middle cerebellar peduncle. So this is cerebellum. So the fibers from pons to the cerebellum is middle cerebellar peduncle. Similar fibers are from midbrain to cerebellum, superior and same fibers from in medulla oblongata to cerebellum is known as inferior cerebellar peduncle. But middle is distinctly seen in this specimen. Here you see the anterior surface of the medulla oblongata where you can see that this is the anterior median fissure. On each side of anterior median fissure as yes, you can see this is the pyramid. On each side of pyramid there is a oval shaped swelling that is known as olive. This is the olive. So pyramid and pyramid and olive are the important features on the anterior surface of medulla oblongata. The nerves emerging here is 6th, here is 7th and 8th. Here is 9, 10 and 11 and between pyramid and olive we have here a 12th cranial nerve. So these are the nerves emerging from the medulla oblongata. Here the, in the pores we have a 5th cranial nerve. Here we have oculomotor nerve. And if we see the posterior surface, on the posterior surface as you can see here, this is the 4th ventricle. You can see this is the 4th ventricle and in the 4th ventricle you see this uh, triangles. This is vagal and hypoglossal triangles in the floor of fourth ventricle. This region is floor of the fourth ventricle, diamond shaped area. In upper part we find facial colliculus and in the lower part, in the lower part we find the triangles. So this is the triangles. This is vagal and hypoglossal triangles. So these are the triangles on the posterior surface. These are the 
uh, gracile and cuneate tubercles. So this is the posterior surface of the brainstem in this specimen. So here you can see again a brainstem on inferior surface. Here you see the cerebral peduncles. Between cerebral peduncles we find here the part of the hypothalamus. This is mammillary bodies. You can see these rounded elevations. They are known as mammillary bodies. This is the uh, cerebral peduncles. This is again the uh, pores with the basilar sulcus. Here you can see the medulla oblongata with pyramid and the olive. So these are the parts which are seen on the inferior surface of the brain, the parts of the brain stem. Here you can find two cerebellar hemispheres.